Peace, blessings, and love, family. This is Elder Rasan Shakur out of the great city of New Orleans, Louisiana, coming to you with another great and informative video. Peace, blessings, and love to all my melanated family, mankind. Prepare me this video. <coughs> Gonna be about what Americans, what Americans should learn from this government shutdown. The number one factor, they don't give a fuck about nobody, the government. You should have learned that right now. They don't even care nothing about their workers. A lot of them ain't gonna get their back paid. That's right. Then you got all these rich motherfuckers sitting up there talking about this, that, and the other. Congress got paid, Pence got paid, all of them got a raise while people were struggling during this shutdown. People not being able to pay their mortgages, pay their rent, pay their bills, medical expenses, school expenses for their children. And these people didn't give a damn. 800,000 people went without paying their bills. But all of y'all trust these so-called politicians, Donald Trump and the Republicans and the Democrats and Nancy Pelosi and all these other, other con people that's conning the American people. These people work for a whole month with no money. That's right. A whole month with no money. America's supposed to be the richest country in the world, this, that, and the other, spend billions of dollars trying to get the malls and the moon, spending money on this, that, and the other, sending money to other countries. While your military veterans suffer, while a lot of homelessness going on in America, and these politicians ripping everybody off and laughing at everybody, but y'all vote for them. Y'all put them in there. You should learn to get your own. That's right, because the American government doesn't care anything about you. It doesn't care nothing about the people, not the people that's running it. They disproved it. And that wall goes deeper in the rabbit hole. There ain't going to be no wall. There will be a wall, it's going to be martial law. Because that's the next step. Because if, if Donald Trump declare a national emergency, <clears throat> He got all the power with the military and everything else to enforce martial law. You got a president that is unruly, think he can do what he want, with well, all of them do what they want anyway. Those politicians and a lot of people, uncertain future, along with the welfare system, the food stamp system, that, not, that has not been resolved. So there's a lot at stake. They only got three weeks before you shut it down again. That's right. And he going to shut it down or bring in martial law with the national emergency. So you better prepare people. You better prepare in a Get your act together. I don't know how these government people are going to make it again if another shutdown come. A lot of them behind in their bills now. A lot of people struggling because it was a hell of a domino effect. And it's going to get worse before it gets better because you got a lot of incompetent, dysfunctional people that's running your government. 
that you put in. Not me, because I don't vote for people like that. I don't fuck with politicians giving you nothing but promises and promises and promises. And the only thing getting done is they're getting rich and you getting poor. And this is using you as a bunch of dumbass pawns. That, Cause that's what you is. United States government don't give a damn about nobody. The elites, the ones that are in the office, they don't care. If you ain't learned from this last government shutdown, you ain't gonna never learn. <laughs> That's right. But finally, we're gonna cut this video short. Let me know how y'all feel about the government shutdown and what's to come. It ain't gonna be nothing nice. Peace, blessings, and love to all the melanated family. Although, listen to this video, please subscribe, share, and put up the likes. And stay tuned for the next video live stream. And the Bible is out. <laughs>